The Ace Tech Brighter C is probably the most widely used airsoft tracer on the current market today. Here in my other hand is the T238 Nano Tracer, which might give Ace Tech a run for its money. I don't know how to f say, say, say it. What's up boys, AJ here, and today my friends over at T238 was kind enough to send me two versions of their tracers that they currently have out there in the market. One being the Nano Ace Tech Tracer and their other T238 RGB Blast Tracer, which has been so nice to use. I've got the opportunity to use it and I can't appreciate the boys over there at T238 enough. Aside from the particular specs that they do run, you obviously notice that this is way smaller than the regular Ace Tech Tracer just by holding inside by side the only thing that's different is probably just the cap at the end here but they work just the same what I like about the nano is that they actually come in different colors if you are running a carbon upper you could match that particular color with the upper that you are running I did choose blue I mean it's a really nice and neutral color the charging connection is a USB-C which is located at the front here which definitely needs probably about 30 to 45 minutes for a full charge and once that's all good to go all you have to do is just set it on by just a vibrating motion or just by shooting a few BBs through the tracer itself and it's already operational. When you're not using it, it does have an automatic shutdown within the 20 minute marks. The Nano itself is what I really like the most because this thing has low voltage protection, which uses a standard 300 mAh LiPo battery. What's really noticeable about this thing is that it's really light. Coming in at 23 grams, it's just the most perfect tracer that you could probably use on the market today. Now, I did use this with my high kappa and my carbon build, and I honestly didn't feel like there was any weight difference whatsoever. The current price for this little tracer comes in at almost $29, close to $20 less than the average Ace Tech Brighter C. And if you're a newer player looking for a tracer on the market, this is definitely the way to go. You know, these brighter colors aren't your thing. They do have a regular black style carbon exterior if that was something that you were looking for. What I also like about this is not only does it do green traces, but it also flashes RGB if you were to select that option as well. It's as you see in my hands, I have the tracer at the front here and it comes in at very low profile, but aside from the colorway, it's very light, which is what I like the most about it. It definitely keeps up with all the BBs that you shoot out, especially if you're using HPA. If you're a newer player on the market, this is definitely the way to go. Even with the carbon, comes in low profile. A few people on the field already asked me, like, what is this all about? Well, T238 basically is another competitor for Ace Tech, so. And honestly, if the Nano wasn't your thing, you also have the RGB blaster right here which works primarily the same way. It does come with its own threads, but it is gonna be a little bigger at the end there. It gives you a little bit more bang for your buck with regards to the RGB quality. For this tiny tracer here, it does have the options to come in black or silver, and it does come in with a wide variety of colors once you shoot it. To turn it on, there's a small button to turn it on on the very back here, which is nice. And then if you wanted to charge it, all you gotta do is just unscrew the back as well and charge it from the front right here. At least that's the way I've been able to charge it. You just gotta be very delicate with this, but other than that, just screw it back in and you're good to go. But it does come with a plastic protective case here, which hasn't given me any issue at all. It works just fine and does exactly what I need it to do. If you guys were looking for something on the market for something that's cheaper, I know tracers don't particularly last as long as they should. These are a good option out there on the market, especially for the Nano. 30 bucks, I mean, that's a steal. And if you buy from the website in particular, the shipping is fast. Although there are options for these tracers out there on Amazon right now in the US market. I do have an extra blue Nano, which I might be doing a giveaway for. Again, thanks to my friends over at T230, Feel free to follow up with more on their Instagram page or on my page alone so that way you guys can get more information about this particular tracer. If I'm going to be honest, this might just be an Ace Tech killer. 